Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's tip of the day is snapshot. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, let me show you some useful things you can do with snapshot in After Effects. So I'm going to take a snapshot of my current composition by clicking on this icon here. And then I'm going to move some things around. And then I can see my snapshot by left clicking and holding this icon here. And I can kind of toggle between the two. But let me show you something new that you might not know about. So if you hold Alt and click on this Show Snapshot icon, you can actually blend the two images together. In other words, you can blend the snapshot and your current setup, which is pretty cool because it can be very useful for lining things up. You know, what if you want to line it up based on the snapshot so you can kind of see how close you are and stuff like that. And the way it does this, basically it blends the two images using the classic difference blending mode. It's basically this one here. I'm going to control D and duplicate this, place it right here. And if you go to the modes, you can see this classic difference. So that's what it's using. All right. So that's that one. But you can also take more than one snapshot. And a lot of people don't know this one. So to take the first snapshot, you just hold Shift F5. That is going to take this one and then maybe move things around. You can do a Shift F6 to take the second one and maybe move some stuff around again. Let's do Shift F7. And then last one, the fourth one. So Shift F8. So now we took four different snapshots, but to view them, instead of holding Shift F5, Shift F6, and so on, you just hit F5. So for example, if we took a picture using Shift F5, to view it, we just hit F5. So like this, and then F6, F7, and F8. So that's kind of cool because you can take more than one snapshot. But another thing about this, you can actually clear any of them. Let's say I want to clear F6. I guess I can take F6 and take another picture, but if you hold Control Shift F6, it will clear that one. So now if I hit F6, nothing happens. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you would like to see more, head on over to ukermedia.com slash tips. And as always, like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukermedia.com.